Thank you once again, everybody, for joining this Canada Specialist Program webinar. Holly from Ontario's Highlands, please take it away. Oh, thank you, Charlie and uh, Nicole. Wonderful. I love Ottawa. It's a beautiful city and it's a great gateway for Ontario's Highlands. So welcome, uh, warmest of greetings to our Australian and New Zealander Canada Specialist. You all know me from the past, I hope, but if you are new, my name's Holly and I'm the Travel Trade Specialist for Ontario's Highlands. So I'd like to begin um, just checking here to see if my slide will work here. There we go. Um, I'd like to begin with our land acknowledgement. I think it's critical that I share this with you. We are the tourism region called Ontario's Highlands. We are on traditional Algonquin territory and is acknowledged by Indigenous people as unceded land and waterways. To the southeast, Ontario's Highlands is also on Mohawk territory. To the west and southwest, Ontario's Highlands is on Ojibwe territory. We are grateful that Indigenous people have been stewards of this land and beyond from time immemorial. We are called to treat this land, its waterways, plants, animals, stories, and its peoples with honor and respect. All my relations. Today, I'm going to share with you Come Wander, our small towns and big country. On our new route, town and country of Ontario's picturesque rolling hills of the Highlands. Today's talk features Ontario's Highlands diverse cultures, arts and heritage that have woven a rich fabric by our Indigenous peoples, by the arrival of early European settlers over the past four centuries, and most recently, urban newcomers seeking a better, more balanced lifestyle. Our theme showcases Ontario's Highlands architecturally rich heritage towns and quaint villages that serve and integrate rural lifestyles with agricultural and wilderness landscapes. Each settlement developed with commercial significance along natural and man-made waterways, such as the UNESCO Rideau Heritage Canal, linking Kingston and Ottawa following the Rideau River. To numerous rail lines and spurs built in the early 19th century to provide transport of raw resources, timber and mining aggregate, export of agricultural products, as well as passage for people from one center to another. Here you'll find this is a very old steam engine and there's a beautiful um, museum in Smith Falls where you actually can stay in a caboose and dine in an old dining car, highly worthwhile. To the construction of early corduroy roads for horses and wagons, later replaced with scenic bridges and a paved secondary road system to easily accommodate and connect independent vehicle traffic. Ontario's Highlands is one of the largest provincially recognized destination. It boasts a big country of wild nature comprised of crown government land holdings, an extensive network of provincial and federal parks, old and secondary growth forests with an abundance of freshwater lakes, heritage rivers, wetlands and conservation areas. Ontario's Highlands is not only a four season rural destination, but renowned for offering quintessential town and country life with exceptional fly drive opportunities via car and motorhome curated by our Canadian and Ontario signature experiences and tourism operators recognized as industry champions. So just where are we? Ontario's Highlands to the right map is situated in Southeastern Ontario with Kawartha and Northumberland. These two regions landmass represent three times the size of Algonquin Provincial Park and hug the park's north, east, south and southwest boundaries. We are served by two major gateways for Canada, Ottawa, Canada's capital and Toronto. Excellent for fly drive travel starting direct from both these airports, Ontario's Highlands is within 1.5 hour drive from both gateways. For motorhome tours, pickup shuttle services are provided for guests easy access to surrounding motorhome comfort centers located just outside of Toronto. 
On the left, check the map of North America. Turtle Island. Note Ontario's islands is centrally located in the heart of Canada. For town and country, we have prepared a suggested route map for you for fly drive motorhome travel presented here in the blue. This route covers all of Ontario's highlands and would provide your FIT client or SIT group on an unforgettable journey of learning and discovery in a leisurely, comfortable style. Authentic experiences and casual interactions with local people will offer wonderful insights to rural life and their connection with the surrounding environment. In our efforts to assist you, we have also created a, su a suggested town and country itinerary with full logistical details and time with a proposed net rate for four nights, five days, art and cultural adventures. Our route meanders through and provides opportunities to explore the following counties. Halliburton Highlands, Scenic Cottage Country, Hastings County, which straddles Canadian Shield and the St. Lawrence Lowlands, offering a diversity of outdoor recreational pursuits. Kawartha Lakes, explore the natural beauty while experiencing authentic food, culture, arts, and entertainment. Lanark County is renowned as the maple syrup capital of Ontario with over 200 producers. Northumberland County, rolling picturesque hills give way to historic and architecturally attractive town and villages along the shoreline of Lake Ontario. The Ottawa Valley, the whitewater capital of Canada, offers a mix of rural countryside roads meandering through charming towns, villages, and century-old farms. Peterborough and the Quarthas, home to Canada's treasured waterway, the Trent Severn. It's an inland canal that connects Lake Ontario with Georgian Bay. And finally, Société de l'Economique de l'Ontario, which supports us with their Route Champlain, our first French explorer who discovered us. These counties and respective communities were established over the past 200 years. Each county notably has a designated center of town with a town hall, a municipal office, and possibly a courtroom. These buildings, architecturally attractive, feature a clock tower and a belfry, our town and country designated icon. Originally, the clock and bell served to tell the time or ring out each hour of the day. Throughout most of our communities, several churches are also present, built on a rise or height of land by their congregations of various denominations. Often a church spire can be observed from kilometers around. In all towns, each has at its heart a designated main street or named King or Queen Street that features an eclectic mix of retail boutique shops, galleries, eateries, and accommodation. Most importantly, walkabouts and dining are a must to feel the vibe. Here become a local. Taste and enjoy local fare and just hang out. We offer a beautiful selection of quality accommodation and hospitality services, everything from boutique hotels, such as the Best Western Parkside Inn and Spa, the White House or Traditional Inn, Best Western Pembroke Inn, the Bonnie View in a Century Lodge, Elmhurst Resort, a fourth four generation cottage resort, Hollabrook Highlands, a private cottage and newly renovated Whitewater Inn, Halliburton Forest Wilderness and Rustic Cabins, Madawaska Canoe Center, Owl Rafting, Cabanas, Glamping, and Cabin Accommodations, and Spectacle Lake Lodge with its waterfront lodge and cabins. All are available to be booked by a receptive tour operator or direct with a tour operator. On tour, stepping out to the wild blue yonder will give you a feeling for the land, water, and rockscapes. Ontario's Highlands is renowned for their highly valued guided experiential experiences. These activities can be easily incorporated into a day or customized tour itinerary. Again, these providers can be easily booked through a number of key receptives or tour operators direct. Consider engaging in Bonnershire Caves, offers educational underground tours of caves a billion years in the making. Halliburton Forest, a 100,000 acre wild nature preserve, privately owned with a wolf center, canopy walk in the treetops. 
restaurant, and a mix of backcountry experiences. Paula Brook Highlands features sustainable farm practices, cuisine, and seasonally guided tours, as well as host of country weddings and special occasions. Madawaska Canoe Centre, a CSE, internationally claimed canoe kayak centre with resort accommodation, feast on cuisine, boutique cafe, and guided rafting. It just recently celebrated its 50th anniversary. Owl Rafting, another CSE, is a boutique resort rafting operation on the Ottawa with an array of accommodations, motorhome hookups, a fully sustainable facility with feast on cuisine and pontoon boat cruises. Spirit of the Waterfalls provides spiritual teachings and engagement with nature and the art of mindfulness at Gaia's Den. The Canadian Canoe Museum showcases the Indigenous gift to the world, the canoe, kayak and their significant role in opening of Canada and today's canoe culture. West Bend Concerts at the Barn presents outdoor musical performances throughout the summer. Valley Cycle Tours provides guided cycling tours and rentals with shuttle services to travel the road less traveled. And Yours Out Tours offers professionally guided cultural, heritage, and four season outdoor experiences. Ontario's Highlands also features a network of 18 provincial parks managed by Ontario Parks. These parks feature unique natural, cultural, and heritage assets with an array of services. Visitor centers, guided interpreter programs, overnight rental of cottages, cabins and yurts, and scenic spacious car and motorhome campgrounds with amenities of electrical hookup, reliable clean toilet, shower and laundry facilities, and rental outdoor equipment for outfitting for a day or for other backcountry experiences. Town and country has so much to offer the inquisitive, curious soul. Remarkable music talent can be enjoyed at West Bend and open air experiences. So taking in a farm visit of a local producer, pick your own vegetables, personally make new friends of all sorts. This is the town and country way of life. For your help, please access Ontario's Highlands Travel Trade website for all content, maps, routes, and visit ohtraveltrade.ca or feel comfortable, please, to contact me directly at trade at OHTO. Town and Country thanks you, and we hope to have you here with us soon. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>